Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to a new episode of Peace of Mind. And um, I have to admit, this is the second time that I've recorded this video. I did do a recording earlier and um, it didn't come out the way that I wanted it to. So um, yeah, I'm recording this again. So I'll show you everything that I did in that video and then I'll explain a few of the changes that you can see. And um, first of all, the pack was updated. It now has a, um, why is, that's probably a conflict. Oh, I didn't think about that one. Controls, um, show conflicts, minus, yeah. Okay. Let's try it. Let's pretend we start again. First of all, the pack's been updated and the biggest one is the quest book. Now you have these little books next to the title and if there's a check mark next to it, then that part is completed. So when you update your quest book, you have to put in some dirt and have some dirt and seeds or you can put it in the crafting table and you get the quest book updater and you click on that which I already did. And then um, earlier, what did I do? I went into farming and cooking. I finished off this section, the market. Well, we already did the market, I think in the second episode, maybe second or third. But I did the shipping bin and the well and got four emeralds for that. And basically, obviously, the market, you will buy Pam's seeds in the shipping bin. You will, you can sell stuff. You can sell, um, let's see if I can remember. You will sell things. Where did I put the shipping bin? I think outside next to, did I put it outside? There's the well. Where did I put the shipping bin? Or did I put that inside? I can't remember where I put it. I remember putting it down and looking at it. But, um, yeah, it's a bit strange. Maybe I shoved it in a container somewhere. But the shipping bin, you can sell things. I also, oh, was that it in there? No, those are some of the rewards I got. I also lamented the lack, oh, there's the shipping bin. So let's put that out. Um, let's put that on this side. And you can sell things. So you can sell 32 spice leaves and get an emerald. So once we get a garden going, we can do that. Um, what else did I do? Uh, the well was outside. Actually, I didn't. Did I? Do I have a well there's a bucket of water do I have an empty bucket no I don't have an empty bucket but yeah I'm trying a new audio setup so if my voice sounds kind of oh snowballs if my voice sounds kind of weird I'm sorry I'm like I said I'm just trying it out this morning the audio, the background audio was just way too loud and you couldn't hear my voice. Okay. No, don't wash me away. Okay. It seems like it's an inf infinite water source. Okay. Um, what else did I do? It's got in the middle. Now, I didn't mean to drop in. Alright. Um, what else did I do? Back. Oh, we found a queen bee. I had one in my inventory, but I didn't make the apiary because I have to get a cow. I found one cow and I brought it back. And it's currently residing in here. 
but we have to find another cow. So I'll have to go and get one. So I need to make a pen. Um, I did. There's the basics. No. Um, peaceful recipes. I found some mushrooms down in the caves, but I also got lost. I spent about half an hour trying to find my way out of the caves like a noob, but I found my way out. I found some mushrooms. I made the spider eye, which is mushrooms and rotten flesh, red mushrooms specifically and rotten flesh. I can't do the shulker shell because you need to go to the end for that. So we will leave that. We can't complete it. Um, farming and cooking. I was also saying at the end of the episode that I wanted to find some tea leaves, but I hadn't found anything. So after I'd finished doing the recording, I went and Googled it and discovered that there's a tree and you get it in forest biomes. So um, I'd also said that I wanted to install Journey Map, which is um, another map mod. You've probably noticed in the top right hand corner, that circle. And what that does is that it gives you a map that you can see. The antique map that you make in that came with the game, you that's good. But then I find, well, obviously you need it on your hotbar. And if you're not looking at it, you can't see where you're going. Journey map, I find, is much more flexible. You have the map that is there in the top right hand corner. And then the default key is J. It will give you a map. So I I let it map. Um, you have auto map. And it automatically maps explored regions. So this is where I have been. Um, this area here, if we zoom in, you can see it's a village. That's where we went to get the slime boots way back in, you know, way back when. I think the first or second episode. Second episode, maybe. But there is another village over here. I am... This is where we are at the moment. Actually... Oh, you can't see the village because it's under snow. But the other village is here, obviously. Um, so yeah, having the journey map and mapping regions. Let me see, if I auto map all, I think it will just map what I've done. And then only if I go off in that direction, it will fill out that direction. It will fill out that map. But it's handy to see where, you could, where you've been. Also, you can... Um, oh, oh no. It's auto-mapping. Okay. I'm not quite sure how it works. I've never really kind of worked out. I don't know. I just know it's handy and I can see villages and stuff. So yeah, it's auto-mapping. It's, it's auto -mapping. But it's handy. It's very handy. And also you can create something called waypoints. So um, right now I've got home. And there's different points on the map. You can either pin, you can click on the map and click B. And then you can put a waypoint. So for example, um, I was hovering over the map. And when you hover over the map, if you look down the bottom just above this bar it will give you coordinates and it will give you the biome that you're that it, you're pointing at so i was looking for different things so i knew that the tea tree grew in forest biome so i hovered over till i found a forest biome and there was one over here so you can click on it press b and then you can put in a a um what you want and then if you have cheats on you can actually teleport to that place I don't have cheats on so I can't teleport but that is also extremely helpful very handy and the other thing that I always do is options uh, mini map preset and where is it 
mob display I always put them as large icons so I can see what's around me so now on the mini map well I can't really point to the top right but on the on the top right I don't know if you'll be able to see but there's some sheep like diagonally to the left bottom left of the middle of the map and then diagon and in the opposite diagonal you can see all the villages so it's helpful like if I if we had the mobs on and I was looking to see where we could find different types of mobs and stuff you look on the mini map and it's there so that was part of what I'd done what I had done this morning um what else um uh, tinkering away we didn't do anything there decoration station I made the oak table and two oak seats which you probably spotted here and I got a desk as a reward and also I made the sleeping bag which means we can now we don't have to come back home and sleep or you don't have to carry a bed with you and sleep you can use the sleeping bag so that's handy and you also have a hammock which allows you to sleep during the day I made this one the fairy lights um, I haven't hung them up I probably should and then this one all the hangy things it wants you to make all these different types of fairy lights which uh, I don't particularly want to but there you go I might do it I might not do it I also did the pots and the cabinets in um, from rustic and you can actually store things in the cabinets let's go back downstairs so these are barrels that you got as a reward and you can store things in there uh, the cabinets you can store things oh they have a cool animation so I was thinking I'll probably put those up in the kitchen um, I don't know what I did with the pots I'll probably shove them in a in a chest there's the pots and there's the fairy lights let's hang up the fairy lights somewhere where can we hang them by the door oh okay all right okay let's put them upstairs then I didn't realize there were like literal strings of lights so if you put one there ooh, that is actually quite cool I want it to be nighttime I want to see if they actually work let's put them up here as well It would be awesome if they actually work and they light up. I might as well put some above the bed as well. And the other end of the bedroom, over the window. That's quite cool. So they look nice, whether they actually work as well remains to be seen. And what else did I do? I did a lot of walking around. I don't think there was anything else. No, there wasn't anything else. I did go out to the to the tea tree, and I um it doesn't make you you don't knock you don't cut down the tea tree you share it. Actually, we should go out there because I did I did want to go exploring as well. It's daytime. That's fine. Oh, when I made these gargoyles, I made this wrought iron thing. You can't really do anything with it. You can't climb it or anything. But then I had to make these gargoyles, which look kind of cool. I should have put them on top of the house. They would have looked awesome. But let me see. Uh, that's a forest. Tea plant. I need to turn off some of these um, waypoints.
And the one good thing about the river being frozen is that we could just walk across. So, um, so yeah, that's what I did. And like I said, the audio was really awful. And there wasn't any, there was no real way to save it. So I just decided I might as well just record it again. And um, so yeah, I have to remember there's cows out here because I do need cows. Maybe I can just, oh, these are Pam's gardens. If you hold down shift and right click it with an empty hand, you get the whole garden. But then if you just break it with an empty hand, it breaks it down into the different, different things. So that's kind of handy for when you see lots of them, because once you break it whole, you can also replant them and they will, um, what's the word? They will propagate across your, across the land. So if you put down one, you'll end up with like 20, which is pretty cool. But these are... I don't even know what Indian hellebore is for, to be honest. It just looks nice. But I don't know what it's for. Alright, the beach, no. Oasis, no. It's tea plant this way. So yeah, I might come out here and make... make um, pen up some of these cows. And breed them up and then take them out to my place. If I remember, I might chop down some trees and do that on the way back. Um, this way. It's not very far, actually. Okay, so this is the tea sapling, and it has boxy leaves like this. And then if you shear it... Then you get tea leaves. Did I pick those up? I think. Oh, here they are. You get tea leaves, and you also get a chance to get a tea sapling. I've probably taken it out, but I did get a tea sapling from it. So I will leave it, and I'll come back. I'll keep coming back to it. I actually I didn't look to see if there were any more. That was the first one that I found, and I got a sapling off it. Oh, there's some more Pam stuff. This one is a shaded garden. There's lots of different types of gardens. I'm not sure how many. I know you've got the shaded garden, you've got the windy garden, you've got the soggy garden. Those I know for sure. Um, let's have a quick look in JEI. Pam, um, help if I could type. At Pam Garden. Okay, we have the arid garden. Oh yes, that is um, the little prickly cactus looking thing in the desert. Frost garden, shaded, soggy, tropical, windy. Oh, and these are different types of soup. So we've seen windy. We've seen, I've, yeah, I've seen soggy. I've seen shaded, I've just haven't seen the frost or the, and I've seen arid. Okay, there's not that many types of garden, which is fine. And also with journey map, now I don't have to worry about getting lost because I can always see the, the markers either in front of me or on the mini map. Uh, let's see if we can find another tea tree, tea plant. Because I found that one there and then I didn't go any further. But let's see if we can find another one. But like I said, they have very distinctive bright green leaves. And also with palms, you have different trees. So this is a cherry tree and you can take the fruits and turn them into saplings. No, not turn them in. Yeah, you can take the fruits and turn them into saplings by combining them with um, regular oak saplings. So it's usually, unless they've changed the the recipe, it's usually three pams fruit, 
to one sapling and that will give you another sapling that will give you whatever fruit tree you want so for example with these gooseberries because I got one earlier and two here so if I took the three gooseberries and put them with an oak sap a vanilla oak sapling that would give me um, a gooseberry tree so that's something else I'd want to do as well that is another Pam's garden okay we're we are going away from the tea plant that's what we wanted one thing I wish they had was um like some kind of lantern was that pear that's do they have any that are fully grown yes if you shift click it it will take off the fully grown fruit um we still going away yes we are I can't believe in this wooded forest there's only one tea tree plant there's got to be more Um, oh, there's another Pam's, oh, this is a rustic beehive. So I got a bee from rustic and some honeycomb. Which is good. Um, what else? Are we, st yeah, we're still in the forest. I forgot I was wearing my boots. Not seeing anything. There's lots of flowers. The plants more adds lots of flowers and that gives you way more colours. Oh what's it? Oh these are plums. But usually from usually um a pam's Pam's tree would give you two two fruits when it's ripe and most of these trees only seem to have one fruit on it it's a pear so if I can make some saplings we can grow some back at the house but the only other thing was this snapdragon Ooh, pretty the only other thing is that because it's snowing because it's winter because I'm not sure which mod adds the seasons, but because it's winter, there doesn't seem to be anything growing because I needed sugar cane. And um, I had some sugar cane growing next to the house, but then when I went looking for it, they weren't there. It's more windy garden. Oh, sugar. I went and hit it instead of shift clicking it. And we've. I think we've used up all our slots. Let's eat some food. All right, let's do this again. Shift. Shift click. What bal balcanite bal canius bears breeches? Are all these flowers real? It doesn't seem like a real flower but it probably is and that will probably give us um, pink yeah pink dye I was also saying that I don't know why these slots light up red that's something that's happened since the um, the update I can't believe there's only one tea tree in this whole forest another Pam's. Uh, do we have an empty? Yeah. Oh, I already had apples. Okay, that's cool. Uh, waypoint. Okay, let's turn that off. Turn off 
tea plant. If we turn off everything else apart from home, then we'd know where it is. There you go, that way. So as you can see, Journey Map is infinitely better than the Antique Map mod. I mean, the Antique Map mod is cool and everything, but I honestly prefer Journey Map. It's so much easier to use and a lot less cumbersome. Oh, so we spent all our time getting out of that thing and we didn't necessarily have to. And this weather is getting on my nerves. It's nice, but it's annoying because right now it's winter and it's always snowing. I finished say that I think that the snow was stopping the um it was stopping the sugar cane from growing so I'm not sure we can actually plant anything right now okay we're back in the old village which seems to be overrun by animals there's our old house I wish I knew how long these seasons lasted. It would be nice if they could tell us how long they've lasted. Oh, it's night time. Um, yeah, they seem to be working because out here is brighter than the rest of the house. Look. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's brighter. So if I take off the... Oh no, we've got... Let's put away the food. Um, is there anything we can put in there? No. Indian hellebore goes up here. Probably put the gardens up in here as well. The tea leaves. What do you need to do? Let's finish that. So at least then we can say we've completed what we wanted to complete for the episode. Farming and cooking. One tea, one tea leaf, one black tea. Um, cook them in a furnace to get black tea. Um, did I put the tea? There's the tea sapling. I knew I had a sapling. I killed one of those beetles and you get a carapace. But I don't know what you do with it. Okay, which one of these had... Oh, yes, I was cooking up stone. Um, da, 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 da. Where's the tea leaf? We want one to get black tea. But the tea, the Simply Tea mod seems to be pretty cool. I mean, you just pretty much just make cups of tea. Okay, and we get another tea sapling. Then you have to make a tea cup, a tea bag, and a teapot. Now, I don't know if I have any more paper. Because I had a very hard time finding sugar cane. Now I've got two bits of paper to make a tea bag. Tea. A tea bag, you need four pieces of paper. I oh, know, but that gives you four tea bags. Yeah. Um, is there any other way to make paper? You might be able to make it with um, Tinker's tinker stuff. Um, three sugar canes, three dried up sugar canes. A bonsai tree. How do you make a paper bark tree? Okay. We can do that. If we make a paper bark tree, then we have unlimited paper. So we just need to find one more piece of paper. 
which is easier said than done. Um, oh, no, 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 we've got paper. Do we have a vanilla sapling? Um, or is it upstairs? It might... Oh no, we have some oak saplings. Okay. Do we have clay? That's the next thing. Uh, stone. Clay. We have two bits there. And I was also saying I need to sort out my storage. It's not in that one. Ah, we have a whole stack there. Let's put the ender lily in. Okay, so to make the bonsai pot, you need to fire up. Let me see. Let's fire up eight bits of clay to make bricks. Let's put the food upstairs. Oh, we've got more clay up here. Cool. Uh, let's put the food up here. We want the saplings. We want the sugar cane. We want the clay. Where did the clay go? Did it, oh, it went in here. Okay, let's see what we can make trees of. We can't do cherries. We can make a gooseberry tree. We want the sapling to make a um, paper bonsai. Oh, we got two tea saplings because we found one and we were given one. Um, anything else? South American rose. Sounds very exotic. Yeah, the only tree we can make right now is a um, a gooseberry. So let's make the paper. No, let's make the paper first. Then we make the paper bark sapling. We can also make the gooseberry sapling, which you make the same way. And then let's go. If I put it in here, no. We've got our bricks. We need some iron so we can turn it into a hopping bonsai. And I will explain what that is in a second. Uh, do we have any iron in here? No. Um, no iron in there. Is it all outside? It might be all outside. Um, we want five pieces because we need to make... Oh, was that bricks? Oh, never mind. That's fine. So basically, a bonsai pot, you use it to grow a tree, right? Which is normal. But also what it does is that um, if you turn it into a hopping bonsai, which is a bonsai pot with a hopper, it will drop item. The, the bonsai tree will grow, the, will grow a tree and you, um, you, collect, you collect the stuff from the tree the harvest from the tree let me see i need where's my iron hopper and then the hopper with the bonsai on top because you're hopping bonsai so you need a piece of dirt which i now probably have in one of those chests no this is a chiseled bit of dirt Let's put our bonsai pot here. Oh. 
chest empty? No, it's not. Are any of these empty? No. Alright, let's put our chest here. And Hopping Bonsai, where are you? You put it on top. Shift click to put it on top. You. Where's my dirt? And where's my paper bark sapling? So you just right click the dirt in it. Right click the paper bark sapling. You need an empty block, an air block above it, so that it will grow. And what it will do, it grows very slowly. As you can see, it's very cool animation. And you can see the progress bar above. And then once it reaches 100%, it will disappear. And whatever harvest you get from the tree, it's as if you knock the tree down, um, if you cut it down, but it will just keep regrowing. So it will reach 100%, then it will disappear. And when you check in the chest, we've got oak wood, we have paper, we have stick, and we have another paper bark sapling. So you will get, um, I think you may have a chance to get um, string as well. Um, paper. Yeah, so you have the chance to get oak leaves, no string, oak leaves, paper, sticks, uh, oak wood, and paper bark saplings. And any also like the, any, most trees, I shouldn't say any trees, most trees, if you put them in a, in a bonsai pot, if you put it in a bonsai pot, it will grow once. And then when you cut it down, you'll you'll get um, um, the stuff from the tree. If you turn it into a hopping bonsai, it will output into a chest below it, so or an inventory below it. And that is really <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. That is really handy. So for example, we need paper. We don't need to grow any more um, um, sugar cane. We have paper. Right, so we were getting paper to make, um, oh dear, to make tea bags. I think paper is a 20% chance. So we still might have to make paper the old fashioned way. Right, let's see, no, no paper that time. So we still might have to make it the old fashioned way. Except we don't have enough sugar cane. <sighs> See, if I thought about this earlier, I could have made it and left it, left it loading. But I didn't. It's only just now, as I as I was here chatting to you guys, I thought, you know, we can actually make. Yeah, this is this. Um, what I could do, make another bonsai pot, another hopping bonsai, and so then we get twice the output. I think we will do that. Did I bring the whole stack of iron? No, I only took out as much as I needed. And I need another chest. bits of paper. Okay. What's that phrase? Necessity is the mother of invention. Um, and we need... Okay, that's all. We need the bonsai pot as well. Um, Upside down U. That's that. So I'll hop in bonsai. And you can also colour you can also colour them. If you take a colour and right click, it will it will colour the bonsai pot. So if you wanted you can have them colour co colour coordinated. But I mean I've never really bothered. Um we need another we need another chest. Hopefully we'll have enough wood to make a chest. Let's 
still have to come back. Uh, right, put that there. Where's our bonsai? Put out oh, shift click. Our dirt. And we need a paper bark sapling. I don't know why it doesn't put things into your into your hot bar anymore. It's since the pack updated. So now that's growing. We've got two pieces of paper. We need another piece of paper. We should have put them in at the same time. It's not going to bug me. They're growing at different rates. <laughs> but never mind. Although it might, they might catch up to each other. I don't know. So to make the tea bag, tea bag, we need four bits of paper and string. So we need another piece of paper. And of course, it's going to just bug us. Well, while we're waiting, let's see if we can find some string. I did have string, but goodness knows where I shoved it. Um, no. Oh, there was some iron in that chest. Nope. Probably upstairs, to be honest. We really need to find some cows, breed them up, get the leather, and make some satchels or backpacks or something. All right, we've got five pieces of string in here. I think we'll probably need that. Oh, our tea saplings. We could see if we could put those in a bonsai pot as well. Do we have any? We have a chest. Um, no, I just bought enough. Let's go downstairs and get some more iron. And see if we can put that into a bonsai pot. Because you can put pretty much everything into a bonsai pot. Uh, iron, I saw iron. I want five. See, recording it the second time round, it's definitely going a lot better. So hopefully the audio is not going to be as annoying as it was this morning. Because the pack because I updated the pack. I forgot to change the volume settings back down. So the fir for the first half an hour, maybe, all you're hearing is lots of, you know, incidental noises and you couldn't really hear my voice and I couldn't really isolate it. So it's like, yeah. Okay, we need another. Do I have, there's dirt in there. And we need another another chest. I'm sure I've got chests in here somewhere. I also might be thinking of another mod pack. Uh, could be thinking of another mod pack. Oh no, we've got four chests here. Okay. Um, what do we want to do? We want to see if we can plant the tea, the tea, tea sapling. So I need my chest. I need my hopping bonsai pot. I need a piece of dirt. And I need the tea sapling. Chest. Hop in bonsai, shift, hop in bonsai. Piece of dirt. No, the tea sapling doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. We will. Can I put the sugar cane in here? No. If I put. So this is something I've never really thought of. Right, if I put in 
the bonsai pot and some sand. Is that going to grow the sugar cane? I don't think it will, but it's worth a try. No. Right, like I said, I didn't think it will. But it was worth the try. Okay, let's get you back. I might as well grow the gooseberry tree while, while it's here. Or we could grow another paper bar. Oh, we've got six bits of paper. We're fine now. So let's put the gooseberry tree in here. Uh, where's my dirt? And the gooseberry tree. <coughs> So that will keep going. Right. All right, let's see if we can plant this outside, although I don't think so. Oh, there you go. I've just proved myself wrong. So, um, yes, yeah, so we've got our tea tree out here. Oh, we were making tea bags. That's what we were doing. Right, so you get four tea bags, a teacup and a teapot. We need blue, it's cyan, no, we need cyan dye. Cyan dye is lapis and bone meal. Some bone. Oh, don't eat pokewood berries, because they poison you. Oh, I think these might give you cyan dye as well. Yes, they do. Light blue, is there a cyan? Cyan is, oh, blue and green. Glow flower, swamp flower, cyan flower, and Cambridge blue. I'm pretty sure we have Cambridge blue. Um, well, we have cactus, so we can make cactus green anyway. Light blue, that's light blue. Uh, I'm sure I had some Cambridge blue, or there was some outside as well, maybe. I don't know. We've got jungle saplings. Um, yeah, storage. They have applied energistics too, but that's quite far down the line. And we need something a bit closer to that. Let's have a look upstairs. Um, yellow. Oh, I thought I had some Cambridge blue. Maybe I didn't. What colour does that give you? That looks like it's grey. Oh, it's blue. And what's this? Brown. Um, that's going to be some kind of pinky ready something. Uh, Canary Island flat pod. Okay, I don't have any cactus blue. Right, cactus blue? Cambridge blue. I'm sure there was some out here. All right, let's get some, let's get this cactus green smelted. And then you mix that with the blue and then that will give you cyan. Green, 
green and blue, we give you cyan. And we need the clay. So the tea teacup. Oh, we need the bone mill. Okay, that's your teacup. And then the teapot. Is that? Do we need to fire it? We can claim a loot chest. I don't think we need to fire it. Tea, a cup of tea and green, cup of black tea. All right, so tea leaves. Um, green tea. Need a green tea bag. Let's put that there. And black tea, I'm guessing you do the same thing. Need two black teas and, all right, let's smelt up another tea leaf. This is definitely going a tiny bit longer than I had planned. But. That's okay, because we're learning lots of things. Right, there's your black tea leaf. Uh, black tea. And where's the tea bag? And a tea bag. Right, cup of black tea, cup of green tea. So, cup of black tea, need a teapot, teacup, and the black tea bag. So the teapot, I'm guessing, right, let's take one of these furnaces upstairs. Okay, we need to put some stuff away. Um, let's put some of these colours and the potato. Oh, the potato can go upstairs. The dirt can go back. Okay, because it's food and it's tea and we have all our tea related stuff up here. We have our planks, we need the tea, teacup, teapot, and right click, yeah, full of water, we put it in the furnace and it's boiling the tea, as you do, oh, oh no, the steam was from me, not from the, not from our boiling pot of tea. And then we need to bring a, a craft that this crafting table over here. So a cup of black tea is that, and then a cup of green tea. Oh, we need to make another cup, don't we? Right, let's make another cup because the tea cup is reusable. But seeing that we want to make two cups of tea, and it doesn't hurt to have another cup. And then that and a cup of green tea. And then the boiling teapot has four uses. So we get tea. Oh, we've completed that bit. Okay. 
watering can. I'm pretty sure I've made a watering can. Pretty sure I made one. Um, although I could have made a different one, I don't know. Extra utilities watering can, and I have the tiny progressions of watering can. What do you need for the extra? What? What? Growth crystals. What do we need for growth crystals? Because if we can do that one quick, then I'll end the episode. If not, then it will have to wait till next week. Growth crystals. Bone block. Do I have bone? Oh, oh you need a sea lantern. Well, yeah, it's not going to happen this week. Definitely not going to happen this week. So, where is my checklist? Okay, so... Um, I googled tea leaves and we found some. I installed journey map. We did that. We went exploring. So the inventory thing and the storage, that's the next thing. So hopefully in the next episode, it won't be winter anymore and I could make a garden. And, um, yeah, because that is really annoying. But we did, we did quite a lot today. We discovered tea leaves and I made a cup of tea. Let me try the green tea. Green tea is good for you. Oh, it's, it's, it's very good for you. See, green tea, very good for you. So yeah, we're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look for some cows. And um, so then Daisy down there has a companion. And um, so yeah, so we discovered tea and we finished off a few quests and we made some fairy lights or well, we strung up the fairy lights which are kind of cool. Now that I've seen them I kind of want to do the others but it's just such a long list I'm not quite sure I really really want to but we'll see. Okay well thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode please like comment and subscribe because it means a lot to me and I will see you in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.